Well, we're delighted to have you to give your opinion. Yeah. The team has just been announced. Uh, your first reactions to the first team for the Six Nations? Yeah, it's huge, hugely exciting. Um, you see uh, James, James Ryan coming in for his debut at 21. Uh, I mean, he's had a meteoric rise uh, up to getting his first start against France. I mean, coming off the back of the Under-20s World Cup where he led the team so well to second place finish, uh, beating the All Blacks there. Then, you know, getting capped uh, for Ireland in the summer tour before playing a game for his province. So um, it's been amazing. And, you know, I'm a bit jealous myself. He scored a try, I think, on his debut, whereas I never scored for Leinster or Ireland. So, uh, but really exciting for him. And he's proved proved how good he is. Started all of uh, six games for Leinster's Champions Cup games and two games against Montpellier, of which one he, he came in and started. Uh, I think Scott Fardy pulled out the morning of the home game at the RDS. And uh, it just shows he, he can deal with the physicality of, you know, what, what French side sides will bring. James starting means that uh, Dev is on the bench, your old pal and your, yeah. your old scrummaging partner. Yeah, no, big Dev. I was hoping to see him today. Unfortunately, I haven't bumped into him. But uh, yeah, no, it's. Uh, I think it's a, it's, it's a great second row pairing and the experience of Dev on the bench. And, you know, Hendy's got an all-rounded game, you know, his ball carrying, his uh, how how aggressive he is at the breakdown and his defence. But uh, you, you saw he got the chance to call the line out against Argentina and he did a phenomenal job, I think, with... Paul O'Connell retiring and uh, Donica Ryan moving on to France. Uh, you know, we had to get a, a, a bit of backup there for calling because Dev's done such a good job and, and he's been there, you know, week in, week out. So Hendy got a big opportunity against Argentina and, and he called the lineouts, took on the responsibility and called the lineouts very effectively. So it's great to see him doing that going forward uh, into the Six Nations. There's some huge changes from the last time that we uh, played France in France. Yeah. A lot of new faces come into the squad. What's your take on that? Yeah, no, there's a, there's a lot of an experience there, but that's you know that's exciting for France. They they come into the game on the back of you know some poor results, uh, losing to South Africa in, in the summer series, uh, that draw against Japan more recently at home, which uh, a new coach Jack Brunel coming in replacing Guy Noves. So um, I think it's uh, you know I know for a fact that the lads won't be taking France lightly. Uh, Joe will be looking back at that performance in 2016. They'll know how physical, how passionate um, and how much desire they play with, especially at home. I think that game, we, well, we, were, we were winning, I think, on 55, 60 minutes and slowly their scrum started to get on top. Uh, they have a saying in France, uh, no scrum, no win. So you can see the emphasis they're going to put on in the set piece. Um, and I'm sure there'll be key learnings from that, that game of how, how to close it out. But uh, uh, a new start for France, a new coach, new players coming in and, uh, you know, a very exciting time for them. Just to wrap up, finally, how exciting is a Six Nations weekend in Paris? Oh, it's hugely exciting. I mean, you know, the lads have trained this morning at Carton House. They'll, they'll head off on the coach now to the airport, and, you know, that's when it really starts to sink in. And then, um, you know, especially for the likes of uh, James, James Ryan and, you know, Jacob Stockdale, reasonably new into the setup, uh, four, four games, four tries, so hopefully he continues that form. But, um, you yeah, know, hugely exciting. I mean, you, really start to feel the buzz around the place and the day of the game they'll have their team meeting with with Joe before they go to the ground and uh, you're kind of contained in, in inside the four walls of the hotel all day and then you come out to the, the the police escort to the to the ground which is you know sends tingles down your down your back and uh, it's quite a, an aggressive police escort they're beeping and you know getting all the cars out the way and it, you know it's a bit of a, it's slightly different to other grounds whereas you, you go into a, a big tunnel quite far out from the stadium so you don't really get a sense of the atmosphere you go into the changing room and then you know you come out to this kind of coliseum of 80,000 supporters uh, with the brass bands playing and uh, you know that's when you realize how, how how big an occasion it is playing playing for your country Mike thanks very much thank you very much